Hello everyone, welcome to the weekend. All right, this is your weekend bonus reading. I wasn't gonna do one, but uh, apparently Spirit said, yes, go ahead, so here we are. So this is for the weekend starting Friday, March 5th, all the way through to Sunday, March 7th. And so I'm just gonna do this reading a little bit differently. I'm gonna do it in two different sections. The first section will be for your money. Okay, we all want to know about money, and the second one will be about your love. So let's have a look where we go. One, uh, one card, please, Spirit, for the weekend, representing our money situation, please. <clears throat> what do we need to know about money? And there we go. Go the distance. Okay. <clears throat> so that initially tells me that uh, you might want to... Uh, save for the future okay you might not uh, you might not want to actually, I'm gonna do this one uh, you might not want to be uh, too frivolous with your money this weekend okay um, think about what you want to buy and what you need versus what you want because there's two very different things and some of you might also you know be thinking about the future and um, you know again saving your pennies for the future right um, it's not an energy of instant gratification at all, okay? Um, and sometimes your dreams take, uh, take a while to come to fruition. So whatever it is that you are saving your money for, okay, for one, keep persevering, right? Eventually that nest egg will grow and uh, it will also earn interest perhaps if you're investing it or put it in, putting it in the bank. Okay, but save for the future. That is card number 47 and uh, seven and four breaks down into 11. So you're saving for new beginnings. You're saving for a bright new future. So, um, you know, it doesn't mean uh, that spirit doesn't want you to have any fun. Okay, but uh, start some financial planning that takes you through. So let's get one message, please, in regards to love. What do we need to know for love for the weekend, please? All right, we're going to get that one. We've got building blocks. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, taking the steps required to build a great foundation, to build a loving relationship. Um, some of you might need to be doing some personal healing, some personal growth, okay, to uh, attract new love. Okay, and for those in a relationship, ugh, we all know that, you know, a beautiful relationship, as much love as there will be, okay, uh, that it um, still requires work, okay? It's not like you get engaged or married and then you stop having to do any work, right? Because it's all about growing. So whether you have new love in coming into your life or whether you have your uh, existing romantic partner, okay, there's uh, a very, very strong foundation, okay? And for one, if you're trying to look for new love, okay, people are attracted by the stability that you project, all right? And of course, in your current relationship, um, you know, keep on building, right? Keep on building upon those strong foundations that you've already got and keep on learning and growing. And, you know, even though I pulled one for money and one for love, Okay, this uh, building blocks, that's card number 28, and that's a 10. Okay, so uh, the tens are endings leading way to new beginnings, and of course this one is a new beginning. So it feels as though uh, some of you in a, in a partnership, your relationship has what it takes to go the distance, okay, for the long term. And some of you with your money here, you might be saving for the long term, saving for a wedding, um, perhaps uh, to buy your first home, okay, to uh, expand in some sort of way. But very solid, very stable, very practical energy coming out here. So I'm just going to get a couple of tarot cards to uh, go a little deeper into this go the distance message. What else do we need to know about money, please? Money for the weekend ahead. All right. So we're going to get this one here. Wow, nine of cups. Okay. So, you know, keep on moving forward. Keep on taking a practical steps and practical plan to make your dreams into reality. The nine of cups is emotional fulfillment. It's the wishes coming true card, right? You've gotten to... You've either gotten to a level of uh, stability, okay, where you can start making solid plans for the future, all right? You may also have some sort of financial reward coming in, um, some sort of, um, 
I feel as though it's something unexpected. Okay, so some unexpected uh, money perhaps, maybe uh, if you play the stock market or something, maybe you've got like some dividends that are coming in and that allows you to put some money away for the future. Okay, you might also uh, you might also be jumping for joy here because I mean, I love this, right? Because you know, she's jumping for joy on top of a treasure chest, right? Um, but I love that, uh, you know, so something, some sort of financial opportunity or reward that lets you follow your follow your dreams follow your wishes and again it might be something unexpected but it gives you that happiness um and that jump for joy kind of energy and again that's the wishes fulfilled card we have the king of pentacles coming out as well so it feels like some of you some of you may oh dear okay well some of you might be getting some sort of inheritance okay uh gotta gotta say it like it comes out right and it's not that you're jumping for joy because you have an inheritance because, I mean, let's face it, um, you know, there's certain things that have to happen to get an inheritance. But I almost feel, and this is the weirdest thing, I've gotten this energy a couple of different times this week and it's um, it's not something that usually comes out. And But I feel it might have to do with the state of the world. I feel as though you're getting some sort of living inheritance from a family member and they want to see people... Um, they want to see their family or their children, their grandchildren. They want to see you um, succeed in this lifetime while they're still around to enjoy it with you. Okay, and it's very odd energy because like I said, I've got this three times this week already. So I don't know if the same person is watching these readings day after day. I mean, I hope so. Okay, but um, or, it's, or it's just something um, that... Uh, that is like an, an overall energy that's coming out from people. So um, it doesn't feel as though it's, it, it feels more like a living kind of inheritance. This could also be some money coming in from, um, you know, from the hard work that you have done. Okay, that King of Pentacles uh, is a very abundant energy. Um, it's also a very self-sufficient energy sometimes as well. So, you know, perhaps your business has really taken off and it's something that you followed your heart, you followed your dreams, and now your business is, is taking off and you're still working hard at it, okay? But now it's allowing you to, um, for one, put your dreams into reality, okay? And it's also starting to give you that financial reward that you're looking for, all right? And it's something that you're building on, building on, building on, and that's gonna take you into the future. So take that as that resonates, but you can also, with this King of Pentacles, you might also have landed your dream job. So if this didn't happen already on Friday, maybe by Monday, okay, or you've been to that interview and you've gotten like that verbal offer and you're just waiting for the paperwork to come through, okay? Whatever it is, it's a very happy, very jump for joy energy. I'm going to get one more and we've got the Knight of Wands coming out here too, okay? So whatever this means for you, it allows you to take some action, okay? Um, it really lights a fire into your soul with this and it feels as though... For some, okay, especially with this uh, go the distance, it allows you to move forward following your dreams, okay, following your passion. Um, you know, again, for, for some, this can be you saving up for a house. This might actually be you, you know, with this, uh, if this is this unexpected loan or inheritance or something, okay, this can actually, um, you know, let you start taking action on your plans for the future okay whatever it is it's forward moving energy wishes coming true okay beautiful energy coming out like seriously could your weekend get any better with that all right love it love it love it so let's move on to your love okay i started with money because everybody wants to know about money but not everyone wants to know about love so let's have a look i'm going to pull i think two of these okay these are uh love oracles so uh, let's pull two messages, please, Spirit, for love. What do we need to know? Existing love and also, wow, new love. Okay, let's get uh, new love first. What do we need to know about new love, please, for the weekend ahead? And we have friendship coming in here. And let's see about existing love. And one more. Whoa, there we go. And we have mature man. Look at that. All right, so friendship. So first off, your new love. Some of you may actually meet a new romantic partner or connection 
through uh, your relationships with your friends. Um, if you looked at uh, the daily reading for, um, for Friday, um, there is a very celebratory energy coming out there as well. So it feels as though some of you may be going to um, some sort of gathering, a social gathering, dinner perhaps, um, a backyard barbecue maybe. And of course, it depends where you are in the world, what kind of the restrictions that you've got going on. Okay, but it feels as though by, um, by getting together with your friends um, that you might meet a brand new person that way or make some sort of connections, okay, that can lead to new love. Now, I am also getting that <laughs> uh, this won't be for all of you, okay, but at least for somebody, there may be a friend in your life that you've known for quite some time and underlying um, underlying your, your friendship, it feels as though you've got like a soul connection, like a kindred spirit with this friend. And it feels as though for somebody that your friend, your friendship, um, could be shifting into the next level. Okay. It's where a friend turns into a romance and, you know, it feels very positive and very solid and stable with that energy because, you know, at the very you know, at the very core of any successful relationship is friendship, all right? And it feels as though there's a very deep mutual ex uh, respect with that energy. And it just feels as though something happens. Um, you might be doing something um, just innocent, like watching a movie, going for a walk, something like that. And something happens, your hands graze, or, you know, maybe you're chilly and your, per your, your friend puts an arm around you or something and it just clicks, just connects, okay? So take that as that resonates, but uh, if that's for you, that is just so beautiful. It feels very beautiful, tender, warm. I'm getting a little bit verklempt here, okay? Um, but it just feels um, right, okay? Beautiful energy. Um, for those of you in a relationship already, okay, we have mature man. So for one, there may be an age difference between you and your person, but doesn't have to be because maturity really has nothing to do with age whatsoever. But this feels like it's a very mature relationship, something that has the ability to go the distance. This person, um, you and your person, you know that um, perfection um really doesn't happen overnight, okay, and that even as perfect as your relationship um, seems to be on the outside, it's a continual evolvement, a continuous continuous building upon an existing solid foundation, and it feels as though if you're not married already, it feels as though um, this is something that could potentially lead to marriage, all right? So actually, I'm going to go to a different deck. I don't want to use the same one. I'm going to go over here to this one, my little connection that's on my, on my table here. So let's just get a couple of clarifiers here for this friendship. What do we need to know about friendship for new love, please, spirit? What else do people need to know? Um, we have the two of cups. Look at that. Okay. Soulmate energy. So whether this is, you know, a new connection that you make through friends or whether this is your friendship turning into a new romance, there is that soul connection, that kindred spirit energy. Okay. Something that is honest, pure, that speaks to your soul, speaks to your heart. Absolutely beautiful. And it seems that, you know, if this is a new, if this is new, a new connection that you've never known before, there's just something that uh, you just might have this deep knowing, okay? And you just might instantly spark. Uh, it, you might be out for dinner with friends or, or again at a barbecue or something. And I don't know why I'm picking up barbecue. Maybe someone really is having a barbecue, but it feels as though you end up spending the whole night talking to this person to the exclusion of all else. It's like you almost forget anyone else is there. Okay, so very beautiful energy. And again, that friendship that's blossoming into something a little bit more. So let's see what else we've got here about our new love connection here. What else do we need to know? And we have the star. Holy crap, people. Okay, so <laughs> the star is Aquarian energy. Um, I, you know, as a reader, I really shouldn't have favorite, uh, favorite um, cards in the deck. But I got to tell you, though, I got to tell you, like I see it. Okay, this feels uh, this feels very faded. I mean, the, the star card is not is not one of fate or destiny necessarily, but it is one of faith. 
Okay. And it feels as though, uh, the stars have your back. This feels like your wishes come true and it's absolutely beautiful. The, uh, the star, the Aquarian energy comes in with a deep knowing. Okay. Also very balanced, very healing. And, but it is also an energy of unlimited faith, hope, trust, optimism. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful energy. It's like, you know, it's like at some point you may have done in this two of cups, we've got the moon and we also have uh, stars here as well, right? We've got the moon right here and we have all these stars. We actually have seven stars. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this bright star right in the middle. Okay. The seven stars, the Pleiades, the seven sisters, and in this deck as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then we've got that bonus star right in the middle as well. Okay. So it's like you've wished upon this star. Okay. And yes, we've got this star right in the middle, that star right in the middle. So at some point you put your wishes into the universe and you knew that your wishes would be fulfilled. Okay. I'm going to leave that there because I'm not going to bother pulling a third one. Okay. Cause that feels pretty damn good. Okay. And now love this. Okay. So the mature man, we've got clarified by the chariot and the queen of wands. So the chariot, this is moving forward with destiny and success. All right. You are in control of your own destiny and it's up to you to take action, to continuously move forward. All the action, the steps that you take, provided that you've got all your good intentions. Okay. And you know, it just, it feels as though you are a master of your own destiny here. You're following the path, lots of success behind you with this. Okay. So great successful communication. And again, you know, that chariot, um, it's a energy of success, but it's not accidental. Okay. It's you being in alignment, you doing the work, okay. That it takes to go the distance. And again, here's the thing. The chariot is about going the distance, right? Being very successful, moving forward with speed, and then we also have that go the distance. I know that's in that, uh, you know, that uh, money position, but it is still uh, relevant to this one. And it feels as though you're going, either you or your person is going to be taking some action. But the queen of wands, there's lots of passion in this, in this uh, connection. The chariot also has a lot of passion behind that as well. Feels like there's a lot of passion, a lot of communication, um, a sense of adventure as well. Okay. It feels as though some of you the chariot can actually be a travel card. Okay. And the queen of wands, the wands, uh, the, the wand suit, um, they like some adventure and they like to travel. So it feels as though some of you may be planning a honeymoon. Okay. Or you are planning some sort of, um, uh, some sort of weekend getaway, something that, um, it breaks the monotony of everyday boring life in, in the middle of a pandemic. Okay. And it feels like you might be, um, thinking outside the box a little bit, but your your relationship is absolutely mature and it has that ability to go the distance. Okay. Beautiful, wonderful energies. Oh my God. Such a wonderful weekend for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there and cause that's pretty freaking good all around. Okay. So I'm going to leave that, but I hope there was some messages here that, uh, give you some help guidance or inspiration through the weekend ahead. I hope you have the most wonderful weekend. Um, if there were messages, please don't forget to like subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know how things are working out for you. And, um, I will see you guys next time. I thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.